Hey everybody, so today we're gonna to be taking you through pretty much everything we do to actually start the boat out, to get it going. Oh, should I say, the Admiral in here is actually going to be doing everything. So one of the things is we've been training the Admiral to take control, engine, docking, undocking. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Right, Admiral? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so one of the first things we do is the checklist, right? Checklist. That checklist happens to be on the phone. Uh, I use an app called Color Note, uh, which is a real simple app, easy to use. Click on it, and you can see I have it. What are you giggling for already? No, we're not being paid by Color Note. Oh, do I need to say that? <laughs> we are not. This is not a sponsorship, nor are we getting any money from Color Note. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so there's see, there's one called Departure. Obviously, there's one called Not Sure. That's all the projects I'm working on so yeah on the boat um, so departure that's one I made up so check the battery levels that's the water levels because we use flooded batteries so I check that grill and charcoal in case I'm going on the beach and I want to make sure to have the charcoal and but grills not, you don't have to explain everything but we're not doing that well yeah but I gotta explain the grill and charcoal why would I have grill and charcoal on a boat list because we go to you know okay. beaches and do grills and charcoal yeah Toolboxes. Yep, I have my toolboxes on board. A dinghy gas tank. Is it tied down? Yes, it's back there and it's tied down. Clear the air vents. Water tank, diesel, and waste. Now, why would I say clear the air vents? Any idea? Because we've had bees in them before. Well, not necessarily bees, but mud daubers. Mud daubers, which basically build mud inside the vents. So I check yeah, those, like pull, you know, clean them out, make sure they're good, because that could kill your your engine and other things. Uh, running lights and anchor lights. No, not that bad. <laughs> Running lights, um, anchor lights, check those, turn those on, make sure it did that. Fresh water levels, again, I've got uh, two meters that I went down and checked, and they're both at good right now. We've got them full right now because we're going on a long trip. May want to take a bath, right? Because <laughs> we have a bathtub. Uh, fridge freezer status, okay, we've got what? We've got a total of four refrigeration devices, two, two angles, angles, yes. An isotherm freezer, beverage. Beverage refrigerator, correct. And an isotherm freezer, which we've used twice. Which is mostly for marinas, that big freezer. So so right now we're rocking what? We're rocking one angle as a freezer and one as a refrigerator? No, we're just doing one freezer and one, and we're doing the iso, uh, isotherm beverage, refrigerator, yeah. beverage, beverage. So we're just rocking two right now. We Sh don't just keep beverages in it. We no, we use it for just like a little refrigerator. A beverage. beverage, cool. It's called a beverage one because it mainly just has no freezer part, one of the small freezer parts in it. Shore power cords, check. Those are in there. Tranny oil level. Any idea what that is? Transmission oil. Yeah, we need to check that. Uh, engine oil, we need to check that. Throw holes, I went through and checked all the through holes are in the right position, so we'll check them again. Uh, dinghy Are battery. Or just the three? Well, the three we're concerned with. I know they've checked the others. Uh, the dinghy battery is on board and charge. I've checked that. Check the dinghy, make sure it's secure. Which, if we go back here real quick, we'll uh, take a look. And you can see I've got the dinghy secured. I've got it there. I've got warp, warp going over to here for the back side of it. And then over here, this one goes to the front. So that's secure. So, all right. So the dinghy is secure. Clean hull. Yeah, it's clean as it's going to get. Clean the deck. Yeah. Well, I pretty much did a new paint job. I've got new uh, kiwi grip that I just did this last week. So, so yeah. So it's good. <laughs> it's clean. It's clean as it's going to be. Charge the batteries. Uh, make sure I did that last night. Had the batteries on a charge for a little while, so they're good. Water heater. Ah, we're going to have to check that. Do you want hot water today and we can in yes. a hot shower? Ah, yep, we're gonna have to check that. And I'm getting text already. <laughs> and steering levels. You're saying Eric, that's you're important. We're gonna to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's our little group that's texting us right now because we're going on a trip yeah. with the NSA. That's the new sailing they saw association. I was making pudding shots. Oh, is that it? <laughs> they just woke up and started texting, huh? Okay. So yeah, so we're um, oh, so uh, what what are we doing today? I haven't even talked about that, Gene. What are we doing? Come on, Jeannie, what are we doing? <laughs> we are going to go down the intercoastal waterway to Beaufort, where we are having our NSA huh, 
Halloween sale. Mm -hmm. And Eric and I, along with another couple, are the cruise captains, captains for mm -hmm. this cruise. So it means yeah. we organize everything for the cruise. And we need to get going. <clears throat> okay. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's um, continue on with our checklist here. Get going. Going down below. Talk faster. Talk faster. <sighs> Must talk faster. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. on the checklist was... Let's go inside. I'm going to go inside the engine room here. Yeah, you should go in. I should go in here. Not the one. Yeah, don't let her go in there. Okay, so the first thing, since I'm looking down, I'm looking at all the through hauls for all the various systems. This is the engine strainer the generator strainer, and the air conditioning strainer. Right now, they are all open, so we're going to go on those. Um, the other thing we need to check is I mentioned about um, oh. steering. Yeah. Yes. So, on the steering, we have hydraulic steering. Let me get a yeah, shot of this. Yeah, we want to make sure the steering works. So, on the hydraulic steering, usually, here's my cylinder for my steering. Right now it's at about 10, it should be about 25 to 30. So, obviously I'm losing air a little bit, mostly because of expansion and contraction during the summer and then back to the winter. So I'll have to snudge the... We're not going to lose steering again, are we? No, we're not going to lose steering. <laughs> She's worried about... We had an issue with that. Did I do a video on that? I probably didn't, thank God. If you did, you lost the footage. But oh, no, good. you were too busy at the time. Okay. So, um, to boost a put the air back in the system and right now it says if you look at the the fluid here it says that it's his max so the fluid's good it's just getting air out of the system so it's losing a little bit of air so I have a bicycle tire pump onto a Schrader valve here which is again just a bicycle valve a Schrader valve? that's its technical term yes all right so and <clears throat> just want to <laughs> Hold on, let's get a camera right here. <laughs> there, I can see. It doesn't take much, so like I said, I'm, I'm losing a little bit. Probably through a connection or two, I'll have to go back and tighten up a little bit because of the heating during the summer. And the, oops, let's pull that out. <laughs> All right, okay. Next two things we said were engine oil. Tranny fluid, which is short for transmission fluid. Huh? Let's go a little faster. A little faster? People oh. are going to get bored. Did you want to do it? No. Fine. I can't be a sailing princess if I don't set my boundaries. <clears throat> right. So the transmission's down here. We have a velvet drive transmission. And normally I just check it to make sure there is fluid in there. And I do have fluid in there, so that's good. Typically you want to check it in neutral when it's warm. <clears throat> And then I got oil. Where was that? Oh, now you want to know where it is. I just want to know where it right is. Right here. Okay. That's the transmission. All right. And the engine oil is down over here. I've never even seen you check these. Oh, I always check the oil. I'm not saying you don't. I've just you know, never seen you. You know how diesels love their oil. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> like the sailor loves their... Oh. Anyway, um, yeah, so um. there's, there's the minimum and the maximum. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go through the checklist again. Make sure we got a tranny level fluid. Yep. We're Engine oil. It twice. Yep. Through holes. Yep. Water heater. Steering levels. Oh, water heater. Forgot to do the water heater. Good to have a checklist. So, when I say water heater, could I, I can jack in the engine room here? <sighs> so, the one thing I installed on this engine a while ago was to send the coolant tubes, you see these blue ones, to the water heater. So I'll open them up. I had created these valves here and over here. So I got two valves that open and close it so that if there's ever a problem with the water heater, I can disconnect the water heater from the coolant system of the engine. Okay, so right now I just open that's closed, that's open. So I now opened it up so and the engine runs, it's gonna start heating the water. Speaking of checks Put it on the checklist. Well, yeah, that's a long way. Okay, water heater. So, going through the whole checklist, you can see everything's checked off. We're ready to actually get going and get the engine started. Okay, right so, away. now this is where the Admiral's training comes in. What are you turning on? Autopilot to... and instruments. Okay, what instruments? What are those instruments? Those are the ones at the pedestal. 
No, the ones up there. The ones up there. Yes. That's what I meant. That would be the one. That would be the depth meter and our uh, our speedometer, which we use as a, also temperature, water temperature. So what do we got here? What panel is that? That looks like the DC panel. It's got the streaming lights, running lights, anchor lights. So that's the DC panel. Yeah. I don't need to do nothing there. Nothing there? Don't need to do anything. Now that's the AC panel. That's when we're plugged in. So yeah, that's all. We don't need to do anything there. Nothing there, huh? And nothing there. Nothing here, huh? I need to turn on this, which ah, is the autopilot. The other part of the autopilot, right. People get bored when we get into too much technical too long. Well, you know what? That's what editing is for. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're up here at the pedestal. What do you, what do we got to do up here? Okay, we're gonna start the engine first. No, we are not. <laughs> e Sorry, that was incorrect. <laughs> we're gonna turn on our instruments. Okay. So you gotta press and hold that for a count of three until it beeps. There you go. Where's that like? Yeah, well, it was close enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What else here do we need to turn on that we should probably have on? Well, I usually do that after I get the engine started. What's that? This is the um, bow thruster. The bow thruster. And this is the remote. I don't have remote. to hold these. Right? No, that's the manual control. That's the built-in remote. This is the actual wireless remote. Yeah, I gotta hold it for seven. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Then what? Is that working? Oh, ah, it is working. It is working. Okay. So the bow thruster is working. Usually I put it like right there, so you can grab it pretty quick. Okay. What else? Turn on our radio. Radio! Good to have the VHF on, just in case and get that going. Channel 9. Okay. What do you want Channel 9 for? I don't know, that's what it came on. Well, you want 16 usually, because everybody thought. wanted 16. Oh. And there you go. Sweet. Okay, now looks like your GPS came up, so what do you want? You're selecting charts, navigation chart. Okay, and you can see we've got a lot of breadcrumbs there that shows <laughs> everywhere how this is from our dock. <laughs> and this and is they a, can't see it. They can see it. Can they? Yeah. Hmm. If not, I'll edit it and then they can see it when I'm done editing. <laughs> but you can see here's a. Video magic. <laughs> here's the. Um, yes, video magic. You can see there's our three-point turns because we can't go any further than that okay so now I got the engine in neutral okay what is that throttle throttle okay all right what now turn on the engine Ooh, she's good <laughs> Okay. Right all at the right place. Sounds like it. Yeah. You usually can tell by the sound. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to go check the back to make sure it's clean. Oh, make sure they got water coming out. Now that is the most important thing there. Making sure we got water spit out of the back of this thing. You can hear it. Oh, look at that. Good? All right. Well, I'm, I'm playing crew today, so I guess I'm doing the dock lines, huh? <laughs> How long do we let the engine warm up for? Ten minutes. Really? Okay. Why? Because that's what you say to do. Oh, okay. And there's reasons behind that. <laughs> Mainly it's to make sure that the engine is running right, that there aren't any problems. We'll do, so we'll do an engine check here. Make warms sure it's not... Warms up the oil. Warms up the engine, warms up the oil before we put it in gear. Uh, also to make sure that there's not problems, like we don't have a huge water leak going on or, or that the thing's not, you know, uh, blowing oil all over the place or smoking down there. So it gives it time to run to make sure to weed out any problems before we actually disconnect from the dock. Okay. Good? Yeah. All right. Go check it. <sighs> <laughs> I need to go check it. I need to go check it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to work. <laughs> so you, you're the admiral now and you're telling the crew what to do. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to go down and uh, check the engine like I was ordered to. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'm check the engine. <clears throat> uh huh. Looking for any strange smells that might be coming out. Smoke. Huh? What do you 
mean, what's going on? You said on? something like, oh, I thought maybe something was, was wrong. No, I was talking to the, to the people. Uh, yeah, I was going on and on to my viewers about how what a terrible, cruel animal you are. <laughs> Dictator almost. <laughs> Okay, so I checked the engine, everything looks fine. There's no oil spewing, there's no smoke going on. Everything seems to be good, so um, I think we're ready. Yeah, are you? We're ready, I'm ready. All right, this is the real fun part. We started doing this because I started take, wanting to take it home because I want to be able to go. I've gone on several ladies' sales on other people's boat where we just take the ladies and it's a very good confidence and I want to be able to do it on our boat. I want to be able to learn how to handle the boat, particularly when he's not on the boat. So I want to change my title from Sailing Princess to Captain at some point, or Co-Captain.
So coming out of the dock, what could you have done? Your back end, you were coming out pretty fast when I when I pushed off the piling. You might have, you pushed it into gear and you left it in gear. Well, because it wasn't going back. Right, but you didn't want your back end. You almost hit and it's not. I told you to what? go back there and push off. Oh, you told me. Yeah, I was listening. It's a cruise fault. <laughs> I didn't push off. My bad. Basically, you want to treat the gear, use that as a control. Pump it just a little bit for a minute and take it out. So the pitch, there are no brakes on this. <laughs> so no brakes? Don't if you go too fast, then it's like, okay, now I gotta put it in reverse to slow it down more. But if you just pop it into gear and then out while you're coming in. Can and you out. take that cloth and wipe down the windows real quick? Because uh, when the sun hits it, it's gonna be real hard for me to see out of them. Do it. Treating me like crew. You are crew dear. Ah. Check the end. Make sure there's no kayakers. All clear. Okay. Oh, poor dinghy. trouble being the captain and not being in control. I said, she should be turning already. What is she doing in my head? <laughs> she's in charge, so she's got it. Besides, if she hits a dock or another boat, everything can be fixed. 